What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out this replacement thumb latch from Lippard Components. And these are really important on the side of your RV or camper because they're a nice way to keep the door closed without having to have your key on you all the time. If they all locked, you'd have to get your key, make sure it's on you all the time just to get these small doors here. We got them on our propane compartment here and our side compartment as well. So there's plenty of them to replace. Let's see which one we actually need. The thumb latches come in three different sizes. That's why measuring is going to be really important for out which one of these is going to work with your door setup. We got seven eighths, one and one eighth, and one and three eighths. Now the measurement comes into play here. We're going to want to measure from the lip inside to the outside here. Looks like it's about seven eighths. So that one's gonna work the best for us today. Again, exposing the most thread from here to here, it's gonna come through the door, and the blade's gonna come down here and attach. That way it keeps the door shut when you've got it locked into place. Let's get it installed. The first step to installing your new thumb latch is getting rid of the old one. If you still have yours one installed, it's gonna be this easy, you just need two tools. I got a screwdriver and a ratchet. First we'll use the screwdriver, to loosen the screw and remove it and the blade here. You want to set the blade aside because we need to reinstall that when we put our new thumb latch in. It does not include one of these blades. But you do get a new screw and a new nut here. So you can replace that hardware. We'll take our ratchet. Go ahead and loosen up that nut. We can pop it out. That easy. I got the seventh eighth one that we measured earlier that we know is gonna work with this door ready to go. So we're just gonna pretty much repeat our steps in reverse. We'll put the thumb latch through to the other side. You can see it there. And see how much thread we have to work with, which is gonna be plenty to get that nice and tight. I'll get my new hardware from the bag. I'll install the nut. Just get it hand tight. I'm gonna come back with the ratchet and give it a couple turns. Not too tight, just snug. Taking that blade from earlier we set aside, we're gonna reinstall it too. And make sure that you kind of follow the one that's installed down here. You can see that if you install it like this, it kind of dips in or can dip out. And that depends on how it's going to go around the lip here. It looks like we want to install it like that so it kind of goes down. So we'll put that back on. Get it started by hand. Get our screwdriver. Go ahead and get it snug. Again, not too tight. Let's test it out. Turns just fine. When it turns just fine. Holds the door nice and snug. It's not popping open while you're driving down the road. It was that easy to install. It only took two tools and took pretty much no time to get the old one replaced with the new one. The new one moves way easier than the old one did. I think it was starting to rust and have problems. And also, it's not moving. The door's not going anywhere. I'm not going to worry about it. Flipping open while I'm driving down the road or anything. Or even, again, the ease of not having to unlock every door every time you need to grab something. You're at the campsite. You're relaxing. Your keys are inside. You just easily get to what you need to quickly. I will say, though, if you're looking for the complete package, that being the blade and all the hardware, I would recommend going with the JR Products 781. It comes with a weather seal that goes on the outside, further protecting any water coming into the inside, ruining the inside of the door here. It comes with the nut, the screw, and most importantly, the blade. So if you don't have your old one or it broke, you're kind of out of luck with this one. But if you get the JR one, it comes with all that stuff. You don't need anything extra. It's still gonna be a great replacement for your existing ones. You got ones that are rusted and are harder to turn or just problematic and you still have the blades on the back, 
you can just buy this, use the old latch because those aren't damaged or anything unless they're bent, and then replace these that easily. That does it for our look at the Lippert Components thumb latches. Hope this helped.